Hello, I'm Nadine and a very warm welcome. So today we are making sugar cookies. <laughs> this recipe is foolproof and easy. Your cookies won't spread in the oven and become one big blob and they'll be totally delicious. So let's start on the cookie dough. We just need a few simple ingredients and it'll be super yummy. So we start with the unsalted butter and sugar. And the butter you want it at room temperature uh, and also not too soft because uh, it'll affect your cookies. You don't want it to spread in the oven. So I have my KitchenAid mixer here I love uh, with a paddle attachment and we're gonna make it in this so uh, we just have to beat it till it just comes together don't beat the hell out of it because the whole point of this is that we don't want too much air in this um, cookie dough otherwise it will spread and rise too much uh, when you bake it before I start mixing, I'm going to have these dessert recipes and pretty presentation ideas here every week. So please remember to subscribe, like the video and hit the bell. So just like that, you just want it to come together. In a mixer like this, it's uh, literally just a few seconds. Then the next thing is our uh, egg goes in that I've beaten slightly with some uh, vanilla. You can have uh, any kind of flavorings you want. This is your basic sugar dough. So I have made it with vanilla, but you can add um, cinnamon or um, lemon rind, orange rind. Um, so there's a lot of possibilities with this. And um, you know, your one tip is that your egg, you should always beat in a separate bowl. Don't crack it directly into your mixing bowl because some eggshells might go in there or you know if it's a bad egg there's like a chicken in there or something <laughs> and then you won't ruin your whole batter so next step the egg and vanilla Once that's mixed, the flour goes in. Um, now you don't have to sift the flour and I'm gonna put some salt and baking powder in here. Uh, the baking powder is a small amount. It's, you obviously don't want this to rise or anything, but I found that if you add a little bit, it makes the cookies a little less dense and a little airy. So uh, it makes a difference. So that goes in, just plop it in all at the same time. And we're going to mix this just till it uh, comes together. Okay, so this is the stage you want it at. This is some beautiful cookie dough and it just kind of comes together when you do this with your fingers. You just knead it slightly. And then we are going to separate it into two portions, cling wrap it and put it in the fridge for like 20 minutes. And then we're going to roll it out. You just make kind of like a disc like this wrap it and it goes in the fridge like that our dough was chilling for 20 minutes and now we are just gonna roll it up so it's slightly chill but it's you can still work with it nicely 
So my favorite way to do this is between two silpat mats. It just makes life easier because nothing sticks to the counter or um, does not flour everywhere. Um, and you know, if you add too much flour, it makes the cookies dry. So with pastry and cookie dough, this is my favorite way to roll it out. Uh, you can, if you don't have these mats, you can use uh, wax paper or parchment paper. And then I just have a rolling pin. I have these rings here. Uh, these just ensure that it's uh, evenly rolled out. If you don't have these, um, no worries. So uh, we just want it like this. It's uh, nicely rolled um, and you don't want it uh, not too thick it's less than a quarter of an inch and then what you do is um, take a baking tray and just slide it on and then uh, I'm just going to cover this with some uh, wax paper and put it in the fridge uh, for just 20 minutes so then it makes it uh, easier to cut. Okay, so our dough has been chilling and all you do is you remove it from the tray and it's kind of nice because your tray is chilled. So we put some parchment paper and cut out the cookies whatever shape you like I'm just using this fluted uh, round cutter then what you can do is you can re-roll these scraps I just re-rolled it once because uh, the more you re-roll it, the tougher the cookies will get. And if you do this fairly quickly, this can go straight in the oven. Otherwise, chill them for another 10 minutes and then they go in the oven. Uh, depending on the cookie size, it will take anywhere from 8 to 12 minutes. But every oven is different. So but what I do recommend is after 5 minutes, just uh, flip your tray around in the oven because most ovens including mine the heat is uneven so i'm actually going to chill these for another 10 minutes that way you know that they won't spread in the oven and they will be ready soon So the cookies are out of the oven and uh, this is what you're looking for just lightly golden brown uh, along the edges so this is a three inch cookie and it took me 11 minutes to make this but you know it varies with different ovens um, so you know this you can have as is with milk or tea or uh, you can put uh, powdered sugar on it Nutella, jam. I'm gonna try it with some jam. Okay, so let's try this. Now I have a little bit of jam. Mmm, yummy. It's perfectly crisp on the outside, and it's still a little bit soft on the inside. It's so, so yummy. You can even stack these up like this and tie them with a cute uh, ribbon. They'll make perfect gifts like iced or not iced. And you know, once you have this uh, sugar cookie recipe down, it opens up a whole glorious world of cookie decorating, which I love, 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 especially uh, in this holiday time. Uh, so please remember to subscribe because in the next video, I'm going to show you how to decorate these uh, cookies and if you make any of these please tag me on Instagram I love love seeing those pics it makes me so happy uh, all the details and the recipe will be on my website nadinani.com I hope you share this with your loved ones until next time
So that goes in. <laughs> or it doesn't. <laughs> okay. Glorious um, 